everybody, welcome back to another grilling video. And today we're gonna to be doing something mildly Jamaican inspired. If you saw last week's video, you, may, you know we made Jamaican oxtail. And while I was buying the ingredients for that, buying some scotch bonnet peppers at my local Jamaican mart, I found Jamaican hard bread. I haven't seen this in years since we've moved down here to Florida. Jamaican hard bread is a very dense sandwich bread and it is absolutely perfect for making any kind of a grilled sandwich. So you can do patty melts or grilled cheese or whatever it happens to be. And you know us, right? We're a grilling channel. So we always have some leftover brisket or pulled pork or something like that. So today I'm going to be doing a pulled pork and cheese with pickle sandwich right on a Jamaican hard dough bread. This is going to be absolutely delicious. I'm looking forward to it. By the way, if you didn't see last week's video, I will put a little card right up here on this, uh, the top of the screen here for our Jamaican oxtail recipe or our Jamaican playlist. We make a bunch of different Jamaican food and it's absolutely delicious. It, uh, for me, it's one of those things that reminds me of going back to the islands. It always does. And you know, we, love, we, love, we love that sort of feeling of reminiscing on all these amazing trips and vacations and time we've spent down in Jamaica. Absolutely love it. So anyway, let me show you what we're gonna do to get started on this. All right, so let's start with a little bit of this Jamaican hard dough bread. And you'll notice when you get this, it is definitely a more dense bread and it's perfect for any kind of toasting or grilling. So, get us two slices of this here. Now I wanna do as much of the prep as I can up front for this. So, we're gonna go ahead and get some of our butter spread right on here. Darn it, this is not soft yet. That's all right, we're doing it on the Blackstone. So I just need to get it a little bit spread around here and it will work its way out. Now I'm just using cheddar cheese. I will tell you, provolone would be perfect for this kind of a thing as well, but I like a cheesy sandwich. To me, that is really good stuff. All right, I'm gonna start by putting some of the pulled pork right down on the actual griddle to start getting this warmed up. We wanna warm it up first before we put it on the sandwich. I'll show you. Now the beauty of this is this stuff does not need to be on long. Remember, it is shredded pork, so you can see just how nice and thin and quick that heats up. Remember that hard bread we just toasted? This is exactly what we're gonna put right down on here. There we go. Pork is getting nice. What we wanna do is we only wanna get this nice and warm on the inside, not quite toasted all the way through. We don't want it to be crunchy on the inside, just the outside. I like to start getting my pulled pork in the shape of the bread. It makes it a little easier to put on there when it's time to. All right, that's exactly what we're looking for here. I'm a fan of lining up my bread, so when I flip this guy over right onto it, I know that they're gonna line up well. Now, we're just gonna add some cheese to both sides of this. Nice thin layer. All right, so with that, we are now gonna go ahead and get our pulled pork right on here. That's so much for getting it in the shape of a sandwich, huh? Pickles. What is a pulled pork sandwich without pickles? Now, get this guy right up on here. Whew, that is hot. Flip it over and we'll get, go get going here. I want that to be a little more toasty. Over here. Yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. I know some of these are down and dirty simple, but they also are absolutely delicious. And these hard bread sandwiches, man, I, I don't know what it is about them. I absolutely love the way these things taste. Look at that. Not too cheesy. We want this to be good, but 
It's a way to do leftovers in a really, really meaningful way. And I'm telling you, if you haven't tried it, you've got to find you some of this hard dough bread and make any kind of grilled sandwich. Grilled cheese, patty melts, leftover barbecue, a brisket sandwich, like anything you can do on Texas toast or bread, toasted is phenomenal. Hmm. That is good. That is good. And I purposely didn't add a lot of sauce to it. I wanted to just taste the pork and the pickles. They're warm in there. That gives it a really, really good flavor. That <laughs> is simple and good, and you've got to give it a try. Jamaican hard dough bread and anything on the inside. Griddled or frying pan toasted. So good. So good. Thanks, y'all. See you next week. Safe and happy grilling.